Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of our dating stories. So it's going to get started in 3, 2, 1, go. He is the last man to tell a lie. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, in a way... Runa now. Aww. I mean, also, especially because he has a girl like you. Oh, like, this is so cute and love. Oh, my God. As I was trying to say, um... He has a girl like her, so really, he has no reason to cheat on her. He is a very loyal guy, and that's what every girl wants. Every girl and woman, hell, that's what I want. I don't want a guy who is, you know, very faithful in the beginning, and then towards, like, what I like to call the death a relationship is, that he stays just to stay with me, but he's not happy. And that's why I will always say, like, communication is the best key. And, you know, we need to talk it out, especially if there's a rut between us and stuff. Don't, like, don't hold it in. I'm the type of person where, yeah, in a way, I do hold some stuff in. And sometimes I'd rather just have, be in my own thoughts and think it over. But especially when you're in a relationship with someone else, you can't do that. You really have to talk to them, especially with how you're feeling. Whether you're happy, sad, whatever. And it's just sweet. And there are some guys out there, hopefully another guy in the future for me, who really do like to just listen to you, you know, vent. And, you know, it's the same and vice versa. I'm, I'm cool with a guy vending with me, especially if, you know, in the end, I give really good advice. That's what we don't like. We want a good-ass partner. I'm just saying. Give me a good-ass man, please. Thank you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you not want to go to the beach? Was that a 42? It, it's okay. I'm not stressed out about the time. <laughs> I 
But she clearly wants you. Yours. Oh, baby, you can't say, I mean, you know what? No, I, I couldn't, I can I, I congratulate you for saying that. At least he was honest, but remember, you got to remember, she's a girl. We're sensitive. You can't just say something like that. Me. Who else would it be? <laughs> Not the toe. <laughs> So, you know, we out. <laughs> you so cute I'm trying so hard not to get a hard on Come on, let's go play! Oh, I like the black one. Oh, that green one's cute, too. <laughs> it sounds like my two best friends. <laughs> Ooh. 
Uh oh. One should be fine. Relax, you're just sleeping in the same room together. I mean, nothing's gonna happen. I mean, unless you want it to, but yeah, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> you want to move the beds? Let's see. You're thinking about that now, though? Oh, funny. Is right. <laughs> okay.
my god, stop! That's all we want to hear. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, whether you're not, it'll still be fun. Ah. Mommy, Gojo, I want you to do this and dress up, darling. Please and thank you. I need this. Mm. <laughs> I mean, free meal? I'd be happy about that. Yeah. Aw, green flag. Green flag, yes! That's why she said that. Because she's scared. She's super worried about that. Any girl would be. This is how Maria fucks it up.
You gonna do show up in a blonde fucking wig? She sure fucking did. Remember what she said. You know that's not her. Mm hmm. We hope. Because your sister over here fucking it up. Like, oh my god, I wish this girl, like, read the room. Read the room. And I hope that Ryuto, he, he ends up seeing, one, the eyes. Runa has blue. Maria has red. That's how you can really tell the biggest difference and such. Like, yeah, she looks like a one-to-one -one copy of her older sister, but we know the difference. It's very obvious. And then plus, <laughs> I went, once again, feel bad for Maria. Cause she's in the itty bitty and I'm not in me and me and Runa. We ain't in the itty bitty. <laughs> no baby. Like, come on now. Like at least when you are dating someone, you take a really good look at them. And I mean, really good look at them. I'm not saying that like looks are everything. I feel like to me, looks are, especially with some of the shows that I have watched throughout the years now, looks are like the fourth fifth thing to me it's more about personality how you treat me how are you around others and such like truly can you make me happy even with how you look like you could be the finest guy in the world and you could still treat me like shit and you can be a guy who is average you're still good looking and such and everything and you could treat me like I'm a damn queen and, and that's what Ryuto does he treats Runa like a fucking queen and that's what I love oh it's gonna be so awkward no I don't want them to find out like this but I mean, how it's going to happen is going to be super scary and such. And, of course, he's going to be like, but you called me on your sister's phone and such. And then she's going to be like, when? When? I didn't call you. It's not on my phone. And, and this is going to be really complicated and such. And I don't want that because my babies, I want them happy and healthy. Like, seriously, this is such a damn good series. I love it so much. Even though we're not even, we're nowhere near done with this. This is just so freaking good. And I love the fact that we're, like, with this show and My Happy Marriage, I'm not going to cry again. I already did that with My Happy Marriage. And um, kind of a little bit with sugar, um, ap sugar apple fairy tale. Um, what I'm loving more in my animes is that we're seeing more and more and more healthy, happy relationships. Yes, with problems here and there because not every relationship is perfect and such. But I love the fact that when we get to those conflict moments and stuff, that our couple is able to move past that and such because when you look at those with any type of tv show couple any um reality tv show couple any couple in general even you being on whoever i am talking to the you um you and your significant other and such and you think about any time when like if you are not with your significant other as of now or a time when you guys did have a fight when you were together and you think about what you did whether it was in a good way or in a bad way but you everybody wants a healthy happy stable relationship and we all pray that we can find someone who can you know be there through the good bad and everything else and when you truly do find that person like you want in life and you want to be with that person forever I do also love the fact is with this show especially on like the first episode going into like the the sex trying to have sex in the first episode with these two and initially it is very pace on that sex with these two 
And then we're getting into episode five and how she's like, she, she felt, it, maybe in that moment she felt like she was ready. But I do like the fact that he's like, I want to wait until you're ready because what if, it, if it's in a moment where you're ready and I'm not or vice versa and stuff. It's about both of them waiting up until the time when they're both ready because what if she's ready and he can't, you know, be up to her standards and this is that and a third. I mean, because this is a girl who has, you know, several other boyfriends before him and such. And of course, this is a guy who really wants to be with her and to stick the landing with her. So he's going to do everything in his power to be with her. So with him coming up to Maria and her pretending to be Runa and saying to him, I want to have sex with you and such and him thinking like how can you change that quickly yes i think us as um as women we we i mm, i'll say it fuck it i i've done that before as well but then at the same time like i've literally taken it back as someone who is still that um and such because we are not going to talk about my sexual ish <laughs> y'all need to know because i didn't your damn business uh but as someone who is one still I, I am okay with still waiting either until I find the right person or even until marriage. But yeah, always be very cautious, especially when someone truly says one minute they're not ready, like they're going to wait with you to have sex to the next day. Oh, I want to have sex with you. Be cautious on that. Mm -hmm. The more you know. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode five of Our Dating Story. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday. I was about to say Saturday. <laughs> next Friday for episode six. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.